Hey, Rhino Fit family. So this is the new R4 bumper 2.0, which compatible. Uh, some changes from the first generation is instead of a tube mount, this is more of a square mount here. The ability to mount a winch. Um, you would have to buy a winch uh, mounting plate kit from us, which is sold separately. Prices are up on our website. The, another big difference is the uh, removable wings, as you can see. So you can either run it as a shorty or you can run it full length. Now the benefit of running it as a shorty is on your sides, uh, you'll have much more clearance. So when, you, when you're going over obstacles or rocks, um, you won't have anything to hit. It'll just be all tire. Also comes with these lot stronger uh, mounting plates. And now we're onto the back side here. As you can see, we reinforced um, all this stuff here so it can withstand the winch pull. Also reinforced the shackle mounts zone. And now we'll show you how to install it. Hey, Rhino Fit family. So this is the, uh, the winch accessory plate. So if you wanna run a winch on your bumper, you'll have to purchase one of these from us. You can either purchase a bare steel or uh, power coated like this. Um, we have full pricing up on our website. The winch we recommend, or the one that we tested it on, was the Axon, the Warren Axon 45S. Make sure it's the one with the ferro lead. As you can see, it's a very compact design. Now, there's also a 55S. Uh, in theory, it should work because the 55S is only a little bit bigger than the 45S. So we didn't make this the ability to, to, to mount a little bit bigger of a winch. All right, so the next step, you will need to do some trimming. If you see these two points right here, you wanna line it up and just cut it off. You don't need to do the, uh, the top one, only the middle one. Now, if you're gonna run a winch, you will need to cut the top one completely off. And this is what the opening is gonna look like. And keep in mind, this opening is gonna be big enough to put your hand in and rotate the spool.